Well, thank you, Jennifer. It is a wonderfully busy time of the year, particularly right here at TV44, as this is the week for Operation Christmas Child Shoebox Drop-Off. And we'll, we'll let you know the exact times this week coming up in just a moment. But first, we've got some folks from Samaritan's Purse that are here to talk to us about Operation Christmas Child, including David Zimmerman, the Regional Director for Samaritan's Purse, Bonnie Condry, who is the Lima Area Coordinator, and Nadia Karnatova, who was a shoebox recipient many years ago. And Nadia, throughout the years, we have heard tremendous stories about how these simple shoeboxes can impact a life, and you're a living example of that. Tell us about what happened when you received a shoebox some many years ago. Well, I grew up in Ukraine, Kiev, and um, when we lived in Ukraine, my dad was a pastor. He would go and preach the gospel, but um, he could not have any job because people find out he's Christian. They would not give him a job. So we grew up really poor. And uh, one day my parents told me that we'll, we will not have a Christmas uh, presents. So uh, they took us to church and the church was hanging out uh, Christmas presents to everyone, shoeboxes. And when I received my, I was so joyful. Yeah, and uh, I remember when I opened my shoebox and there was a Barbie and I was so excited because I never had a toy in my life, and especially a new toy. So that was really exciting for me. And I remember when I looked at my mom, how joyful she was, because he, this is a woman who had nine children, and she never could provide for us. She could never give us new things. And there was days where she would go to sleep and pray to God that God will give her some sort of food to feed her little children next day. So that was a really blessing for me as a child and especially for my parents. And now as a mother yourself, that's a lesson you're teaching to your children as well. Yes, I believe Shoebox Operation Christmas Child has taught me how to be a, a giver. A lot of people don't understand when you give, you teach people how to be a giver. So um, when I, um, last year we packed shoeboxes with my children. It was so exciting with them because they, I took them to the store and they picked up a, lots of toys and we packed shoe boxes and they were so excited we sat down we prayed for them and my kids were so excited about them and I remember my little one said mommy I wish I could find out who will receive my shoe box and I told I told my little one I was like it's okay Alexander whoever will receive he will experience a love of God and that was really joyful so yeah we do that every year now this year we went already shopping last week so it's, it's, it's very, very, it brings us together as a family. And what a great opportunity to teach your kids how to be a giver. The Bible says train your child the way he should go. And this is amazing opportunity for us parents to teach your child to be a giver. I, I, I would take it. So yeah, we do that with my children. I encourage other children to give also. Bonnie, it's a great opportunity as Nadia was saying. So if you decide you're gonna do this, What's the next step? What do you need to do in order to pack a shoebox? Can it be any shoebox? Is there a specific type of shoebox? It can be a shoebox that you have at home. You just wrap the top and the bottom separately in pretty Christmas paper, and then you get to go shopping, and you choose small toys, hygiene items, and uh, school supplies that you would like to put into the box. For example, this is for a girl 10 to 14, and so thinking she has sewing supplies, she has a manicure set, some pens, soap and a washcloth, a crank flashlight because they cannot buy batteries at the nearest store, <laughs> pens and pencils. And then the craze in America right now is coloring scriptures. So this are, these are little scripture cards mm. that she can color as well. And then I have all kinds of school supplies, um, crayons, scissors, pencils, pens, toothbrush, colored pencils, and then I even put in a pair of flip-flops <laughs> yeah. that she can use, and some paper. But um, I also this year decided to put a little message on mm -hmm. the lid, so you are loved, or it might say you are important. And then a special thing to put in is a card and a picture of yourself for sharing the box with them, because they love to see that. And then don't forget, the most important thing that I've put in this box is when I bought the things, I prayed for the things that went in, that God would lead me to what this child would like, and then to continually pray for the child who receives the box that they will come to know Christ. What are some things that we shouldn't put in the shoe box? Well, we should not put anything in that is war related like toy knives or toy guns or figurines, no chocolate or food, no um, perfumes or lotions, 
and no breakable items because they could get damaged in the boxes. And David, as we were talking about beforehand, the impact these shoe boxes make, obviously they go much further than just Christmas time. There is also the, the gospel message involved as well. What I find so encouraging is not only is the gospel presented at the time the child receives the box, because we want the child to know that this fantastic shoe box that they've received full of gifts directs them to Jesus, who is the greatest gift of all. So they're going to hear the gospel when they receive their shoe box. And then each child receives this uh, in their own language, which is a uh, booklet that tells about the life of Christ and his offer of salvation. But then what I find so exciting is that many children are invited to come back to the church where they received the shoebox to go through a 12-week discipleship lesson right there in the context of the local church and at the graduation where they can invite all of their friends, family, community. The gospel is presented again in the context of the local church and they receive a full New Testament in their language as the graduation gift. So as we pack shoe boxes, and as your viewers pack shoe boxes, they can know that there is a discipleship program that follows up the shoe box, which is very powerful because the mission of Operation Christmas Child, as Nadia has so well spoken of her own experience, is to demonstrate God's love in a tangible way to needy children around the world and together with the local church worldwide, share the love of Jesus Christ. Nadia, we'll, we'll wrap up with you. What is your message to folks about the importance of Operation Christmas Child? My message is I would like to encourage everybody to just um, kind of step out outside the box and just look out there. There's so many kids who are in need, and I believe that God put you here on earth to be, uh, to be his vessel and to be used by God for, for his other children in all over the world just to encourage them, to give them hope, to give them love when they have no hope left. I believe that's a huge blessing that you can do that for somebody else, for your other brother in Christ. So I believe that uh, it's a good opportunity and I will encourage everyone to just step out of there and get involved and go love on little ones. You know, and TV44, once again, is one of the drop-off sp spots. You can drop off your boxes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday of this week, you can drop your boxes off from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Friday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll also have some times on the weekend as well, Saturday from 10 to 1, Sunday from 1 to 5, and a final chance Monday from 10 a.m. to noon. And, and Bonnie, we have seen literally semis, multiple semi-trucks, trailers filled to capacity at this site over the years. Yes, last year the Lima area collected 18,200 shoe boxes and this year our goal with God's help is we're going to have 20,000 shoe boxes <laughs> to reach those children throughout the world with God's message of love. Well, you heard it here. 20,000 shoe boxes is the goal for the TV44 drop-off site. You saw the times earlier. You got a chance to drop those off many times this week. Certainly hope and encourage you will do so. I want to thank our guests Nadia, Bonnie, and David for taking time thank to you, discuss you. Operation Christmas Child. And now Andy has a story for us.